Evans Kitono working at Plant Village here in Baringo County, uh, helping the community uh, in drench land restoration. That is uh, through the removal of uh, this invasive wheat that is uh, also peacefully flora, then we convert it into biochar. Then the biochar we get to use uh, to plant uh, crops and and pastures in the region. This is uh, Maricat, Baringo County, and uh, here, here, do see how initially farmers have been trying to get rid or to manage this invasive uh, weed that is uh, Prosopis chuliflora. They are actually using it to to, pro, to pan charcoal, as we can see in this video. And in the process, they are actually emitting the the, the CO2 to the atmosphere. So they are panning this charcoal for fuel, as we can see in this video. And this is the and this is it so we have been here trying to educate them on how they can manage this prosopis without necessarily uh polluting the environment with the with the co2 through uh, the production of biochar and i will take you through the process of biochar production so here is the first process of uh, biochar production that is cutting down of the prosopis with power saw and the process is so here is the second step of the biochar production process that is the chopping of biomass uh, we have the community helping us to to chop this biomass that is uh, removing tones that can make it uh, easy to handle when uh, gathering it or taking it for for panning. So this is uh, the process. So once they are chopped, we cut these biomass. So from here, they will help us to carry this biomass for panning it in a quantity. Today we are running 10 kilns as 10,000 liters of water is delivered on site. So this is our kill number one. Kill number two. Kill number three. Kill number four, kill number five, at the far end, kill number six and seven, kill number eight, nine, and kill number ten. And this is the water being offloaded into the tank. Here is the second last process of our biochar production. That is once the biochar is offloaded from Kontiki. We tried it for about uh, one day to enable us to mill it using this uh, grinding machine. So once they are dried up, we mill it here. And this is the this is the machine. So here is the final product. That is the the biochar. So once we get this one, we'll clear the field. We plow. We, we broadcast this biochar. Then we plow and uh, plant grasses. So this biochar has the ability to sequester the carbon for about 100 to 1,000 years. So I will take you to the field where we cleared, produce uh, biochar. Uh, take it back to the soil and planted grasses. Initially, this farm was highly infected by prosopis with flora, but when we came, we cleared uh, this field to produce biochar, then we returned to the ground and plant grasses. As you can see now, this field is now green, full of 
grasses so the farmer can benefit from these grasses as animal feeds as well as can harvest seeds so these are the seeds for these grasses the farmer can harvest it sell then make a living out of it